Hello my girlies, okay, welcome back to a brand new conspiracy theory video, okay? It's your girl Riley. It has been a while since I've done one of these conspiracy theory videos, so... Yeah, I have a couple here that I have found and I am so ready to talk about these. If you guys don't know, yes, I do conspiracy theories on my channel over here now and then, okay? I did two other videos, you guys can definitely check those out. And I'll also leave a playlist for you guys to check out as well. So really quick before we start, go ahead and rate my Latina lips because I have been wanting to do this lip style for a while and I finally think I nailed it. However, um, let me know in the comments what you guys think, okay? I'm trying to express my inner Latina, of course, okay? Anyway, let's get started with these theories. Well, the first theory has to do with one of my favorite movies of all time, and that is Shrek, okay? Quite literally, I was watching Shrek earlier, so, you know, perfect day for me to talk about this. This theory on Shrek actually revolves around one character, uh, well, actually, three characters, and the main character that this focuses on is Lord Farquaad, okay? A lot of people know Lord Farquaad for being the villain in the first original Shrek movie and he's just an iconic character, you know. We never hear from him at all, nor is there any like signs of him after the first Shrek movie, which not surprise, he got eaten by the dragon, so it's like, you know, not really expected to see him after that. The theory about Lord Farquaad is who his parents are, okay, because for starters, every single character in Shrek is associated with a specific fairy tale character. All these characters that you see in the movie are all fairy tale characters, okay. Lord Farquaad, obviously, being the one that no one really knows where he comes from, no one really knows anything about his parents and stuff. Well, the theory on Lord Farquaad's parents is that his mom happens to be Snow White and that his dad happens to be Rumpy. Now, let me explain, okay? For starters, there's a little bit of similarities here, okay? For starters, Lord Farquaad has pretty much the same exact hair that No White has in the Shrek movies. Like, literally look at them compared. Like, it's not that far off, you know? He also has the magic mirror from the movie Snow White. So it's like, who else would have that mirror besides either the Evil Queen or Snow White herself? The reason why it could be Grumpy, that's the, that's the dad, is because one, the dwarf that is associated with the color red, which is Lord Farquaad's color, okay? He's also short, which like, not much to say there as well. <laughs> he also has a hot temper. Like, Lord Farquaad and Grumpy, very grumpy men, okay? So, you know, it kind of makes sense here and there, okay? I don't know how much any of you guys would believe this one. I don't personally know if it is crazy or if it's so believable, but some similarities there between both Snow White and Grumpy being there, I can, I, I would believe it, you know what I mean? Like, if DreamWorks themselves confirmed it and said, these are Lord Farquaad's parents, I would probably believe it because look at him, you know? So this next theory is about the movie Ratatouille, okay? So you guys all know Ratatouille is the movie with the rat who knows how to cook and is like a famous chef in Paris, right? A lot of people don't necessarily always question too much like how did he master this cooking skill? Because, you know, cooking is surprisingly not that easy, okay? This is coming from someone who cooks, like, it's something you gotta get used to, you know what I mean? But it's like, how did he just, like, get the skill out of nowhere, right? So the theory is that he actually learned to cook with the old lady from the beginning of the movie. And here's the thing, right? Here's another theory, right? The theory on the old lady is that this old lady happens to be the mother of the food critic at the end of the movie. Now the reason why Remy is such a good cook is because he did learn from this old lady, but the reason why at the end of the movie, when you see the food critic eating the ratatouille that Remy made, he gets this like nostalgia, this like happy memory that just came from his childhood, right? Now, what if I told you that it could be possible that the old lady used to make this meal for him as a kid, and then when Remy learned to cook with this old lady, basically taught Remy how to make her son's favorite dish, and he recreated it in the restaurant called it the ratatouille and fed it to this food critic and it just so happened that he unlocked this memory from his childhood i don't know i think that's kind of a crazy one because at the same time it's like it's like you wouldn't expect this old lady from the beginning to be so important so it's like 
could she possibly be the mother of the food critic who had this like nostalgia feeling after eating the ratatouille i don't know you guys let me know in the comments okay okay so this last theory is on another disney movie and it's also one of my favorite disney movies of all time and that is brave okay can i just say brave kind of underrated in my opinion okay it's one of my favorites so like i'm just saying so this theory has to do with the witch lady in this movie and now this one i'm gonna try to explain as best as i can so please try to hear me out okay so the theory is that this lady right the witch from brave is actually boo from monsters inc let me explain there's a theory that at the end of Monsters Inc. when Sully left Boo in her bedroom, they never saw each other again. The theory is that Boo actually wanted to go looking for her friends and she stumbled upon the doors. She managed to enter through the door and found herself going through all these different doors, almost like going through like the multiverse in that type of way. Okay, this is kind of like Doctor Strange here. And she happened to have just gotten lost in the brave universe and she got trapped there and she couldn't figure her way out so she just lived there forever now that sounds crazy and unbelievable but here are just some of the hints that you can throw out there okay so for starters people like to point out the theory that supposedly boo is actually jesse from toy stories first owner right she was the first kid who owned jesse and stuff and the reason for that is because you can literally see the jesse doll in her bedroom right now obviously that's just pixar playing easter eggs for us because they just love when we find these little hints now you're probably wondering what does that have to do with brave well in the movie brave right there's two different hints that give somewhat of little proof to both the monsters ink theory and the toy story theory so with the monsters ink theory there is a little piece of wood that has a carving of sully so it's kind of like she remembers her best friend she remembers this friend she's looking for and she has this like carving because that is like the only thing she has that really shows him you know what i mean it's like she went looking for him and she didn't find him unfortunately and this is what she has to basically look at to remember him now the theory with the toy story and jesse is because in the movie brave you do see her making these like wood figures or something and you actually see her making the pizza planet truck now does that have anything to do with jesse not necessarily but the pizza planet truck is the biggest easter egg in all of pixar because it's in every single pixar movie but it does kind of throw off a little hint towards this like boo being uh jesse's first owner just little fun easter eggs here and there that kind of make conspiracy theorists go crazy with these things <laughs> so yeah those were just some of the conspiracy theories that i found for you guys that i wanted to go over with you guys you guys know i love talking about conspiracies about childhood ruining movies tv shows all this stuff so yeah let me know in the comments what you guys thought if you guys thought any of these were crazy if you believe any of these do you have any more proof on any of these are there any theories that i have not covered yet whether in this video or in my last two videos where you think i should talk about them or look into them you know what i mean you can even leave it in the comments below like hey riley have you heard about the so-and-so theory i may have not and i'll do research on it and i'll talk about it in my next conspiracy video okay anyways if you guys did like it please make sure to leave it a like Please make sure to subscribe to your girly, okay? I upload every week. I don't know what days I upload necessarily. You guys know I just upload randomly, but I upload every week. So yeah, I haven't uploaded a new vlog. I am sorry. I haven't really done much in my life to do vlogging again. But once I do something fun, entertaining, I'll go back to vlogging, okay? But in the meantime, if my life is boring, I'm not vlogging because what do you guys need to see my boring life for, you know? I do like making these videos as well for you guys so you guys can get these videos in the meantime so i hope you guys enjoy like i said i do have two more conspiracy videos that i have uploaded on this channel so if you guys would like to check them out i will leave a playlist in the description okay before i go i do just want to remind you guys about my podcast with my friend fatima okay it's called sunflower roses i know i said we were going to film the second episode last week and things just got complicated and our schedules just got messed up so we haven't filmed the second episode but you guys can definitely check out the first episode it is on this youtube channel okay youtube.com slash 
Riley Pink Rose. It is called Sunflower Roses. That is a podcast with me and my best friend Fatima. You can check out the first episode. Let us know what you think. If you guys are into it, and let us know if you desperately want a second episode, we will work on that for you. Okay, we're trying to work this out, guys. Okay, we both have very different schedules, so it's not easy to just film an episode every single week. Okay, just be patient with us. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.